if you find that you're having conversations with people about your business idea and the other person does all the listening, that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> um, the entrepreneur needs to have an, an, a, you know, a certain level of uh, assertiveness and, a, and good ideas, but they also have to have the ability to listen. What people sometimes say to me is, you know, Zev, uh, I have a great idea and I'm an entrepreneur, but I'm just not a numbers guy. You can survive, but you have to then say in the next sentence, I'm not a numbers person, but I have this consultant or a, a partner who is the numbers person. And that person is the one I'm going to listen to. It is not okay to begin a company and take money from your family and then later from angel investors and not have a deep understanding of how uh, financial spreadsheets work. Being your own boss doesn't mean being a dictator to the people who are around you. It means listening to them and thinking about their needs. You know, your, your, your partners, your staff, your customers. I'm a startup guy. I, I am not a person who's very comfortable in a company with 100 employees, let alone right. thousands. Um, and I, I'm, I'm good at the early stage putting things together, financing, um, and uh, I'm not good in a large organization. If you know who you are, and, and I do I know who I am, um, you can be content if you're following your own life plan.